Now we're here guys, I'm going to show you how to calibrate with the signal generator. All right. For starters, I have the input at 640. Now all red circuit boards uh, on the ORP side, each hash mark represents 20 millivolts. 640 is on the low side, so we're going to turn the dial to low. Feed light is off. If feed light is off, you want to go counterclockwise just until the feed light activates. Once the feed light activates, that's your starting point. So 640, that's the low, medium, 725. I'm gonna increase the signal generator. All right, there we go, 725. All right, and that's your midpoint, okay? Now high, it's 810. So I'm gonna increase this to 810 millivolts. and you're all set. Now basically what you're doing at this point is you're getting it to the, the low, medium, and high range. So that's actually what we calibrate here, the factory specs. So that's your starting point from there. Now on the pH side, uh, we're gonna start off with uh, negative 28 millivolts. You're gonna adjust your signal generator to negative 28 millivolts. That's about a 7.5. So that's where your feed light should kick on and off at. Now pH priority is on. Always when you're calibrating, you want to turn that off by putting number four dip switch to the left. All right, once you do that, go into VR17. If the pH feed light is on, you want to go clockwise just until the feed light turns off. And you'll notice the pH readout is going to change as well. And now you're at about 7.5. All right, that's your midway point, 7.5. Now, if you go down to low, zero millivolts, 7.0 in theory, so we're gonna drop that down. All right, there we go. You have your low range, 7.0, zero millivolts. Gonna raise it back to negative 28. It's about a 7.5, that's your midway set point. Now, negative 56 in theory is about an 8.0. Gonna adjust the signal generator. Negative 56, and there you go at about an 8 -0. Now sometimes you have to back off just to give it, and there you go, and you can get your, your high range. So you have low, zero millivolts, 7.5, mid, negative 56, high. So that's basically, we're calibrating it to factory specs as if it was leaving out here from Aquasol. Um, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Big thanks to Anthony Ains for helping to get that put together. I wanted his words to speak for themselves. That's why you didn't get any voiceovers or soft intro from me. But uh, I think it's really a great procedure there to, to understand how those controllers are calibrated from the factory so that if you're having trouble in the field, you can return it to factory calibration and then at that point perform field adjustment to the set points. That is something we will be going over later this week. So again, thanks for tuning in and, uh, you know, post your comments, like, and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.